tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hi folks, I want to talk about slow motion today and uh, I want to point you to the timeline. It goes from, by default, from 1 to 120. You see these numbers here, 120 and 1. And here you have this slider which you can extend to the very right and it stops at 200. So you have a frame range of 1 to 200 now. And if you reduce this, you can have a frame range of, well, 1 to 90. And of course you can change these numbers and type in 9000 here so you get a really long animation range. What happens now if we do an animation and set a couple of keyframes? We have frame 1, we move the torus over here and set a keyframe by pressing the key S. We go to the very end which is frame 90 in our case, move it over here maybe a little bit higher and rotate it and the keyframe is set automatically because I have auto keyframe switched on. If not, you just have to type in S here again. Now let's go to the middle and invoke a more or less drastic change. So I set a keyframe as it was. I go just a little bit further and I scale the torus up like this. And then I go a little bit further and I scale it down like this. So I have a fast motion here and the rest is pretty smooth. Let's run the simulation or animation. So in this area here you have lots of changes within just a few keyframes. That would be an interesting part for slow motion. Now let's uh, check it out. Let's go to Windows, Settings, Preferences and Preferences. Just a meditation here, the menu is Windows, Settings, Preferences and Preferences. And when you go further down, you see the time slider. And the time slider shows you that you have a frame rate of 24 frames per second. You don't see that frame rate here because that's the, f that's the range of the animation and it doesn't care about this frame rate here. 24 per sec uh, frames per second is pretty usual for film and uh, video I guess but um, what kind of uh, possibilities do we have here? We can change this to 2 frames per second and when I do this you see that the animation range changes immediately from 0 to, f to 8. Now let's run the animation and you see it has the same speed but it does this stuttering effect because we render very few frames only but with the same frame range. Right mouse click here and playback speed, play every frame, maximum is real time. We could as well choose real time and it doesn't change a thing because we just have the same range here with a different frame per second waiting. And let's go back to render settings, preferences and the time slider. Change this to well say 50 frames per second. We get a different range here from 0 to 200 now. But now in this area we have more keyframes, more frames to evaluate this motion. Settings, Preferences, Preferences and the Time Slider. Currently 50 frames per second. Let's create a new scene and I'll show you something about motion capturing. Motion capturing is sometimes so complex that we cannot rely on 24 frames per second because we want to see more detail in the motion. Let's go to Windows and the Animation Editors this time. Windows, Animation Editors and down here I have if this plugin is loaded in your version of Maya, it doesn't cost anything. You have this motion library, as it's called, and it's done by Rococo Motion. And Rococo has all kinds of animations. I did a tutorial about it. I just go to my library now, choose the dodge with the right roll here, 
check out the speed of this animation and now we import it into Maya and you can see it lands here we can close this window in order to see this properly we need to go to Windows again settings preferences preferences and go to the middle here the settings and change the working units from centimeters to meters and and when we press A we see the whole skeleton on a proper floor so this is the speed we have it goes from frame 0 to 720 which seems a lot for this brief animation and that's because the motion capture people from Rococo provided us with a high frame range and you can see this here go into Windows settings preferences preferences and the time slider and you see they set it to 120 frames per second if we import another with a new scene another animation which is slower for example this woman who has problems with her stomach now let's go back again preferences and have a look at the time slider and now it's set to 30 frames per second we didn't do that that came with the animation the last thing I'm going to show you is this if you have an animation which is going maybe from frame 0 to frame 189 and you would render that you go to the render settings give it a name choose a file and image format you need to set the frame animation range from single frame to name and extension numbering and extension and then you start at one in this case or actually zero and uh, you end at 189 that would render this animation as we could see it right now of course we had to put in geometry and the light but the crucial value for slow motion is this value here if you set this from one to say 0 0.5 you get a slow motion which is half speed so you still have that frame range from 0 to 189 but if you choose 0 0.5 here by, uh, in the by frame uh, range you will render the double amount of frames that means just about 380 frames rather than 189 frames if you want a more drastic slow motion you would go to 0 0.1 this would render not 189 frames but 1890 frames and then you get uh, you have the option in your video video editing uh, software to choose the frame range individu individually uh, in the post-production you could maybe agree okay I want this part very, to be very slow and uh, another part uh, less slow so my suggestion would be if you would render this animation in a regular way render it by frame 1 so this gives you a straight rendering of the animation as you see it in the timeline then maybe select a certain part which you want to concentrate on and render this part maybe in this case only from 60 to 70 you type in 60 and 70 and here you want a slow motion and type in 0 0.3 so it's three times longer this section here and uh, maybe you want to change the file name here for and call it uh, stomach problem slow mo if you render the whole animation in slow motion this is too much of a rendering effort I guess if the post-production to which you hand the animation over doesn't need that complexity in motion from the beginning to the end but only in a certain part I give you a few examples and I wish you a good day bye bye
Thank you.